I don't know what's going on tonight. My first guest tonight has been the president of the Cabell Huntington Convention and Visitors Bureau, not that kind of president, for a little bit more than a year now. During that time, the city of Huntington has been featured on Jamie Oliver's Food Revolution. Yay. The city of Barbersville has been seen by more than 20,000 people. They were here for the Region 1 Soccer Championships. And I don't even want to tell you how many people visit Camden Porch Park each year. Please welcome Tyson Compton. Yeah. 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 I like it. I like it. Kyle, good to see you. Did you ever go on the road? I could use this in the morning no, at the office. No, 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 no. We don't take the show on the road okay. for obvious reasons. Tyson, real quick before we get started, what's the web address that we can see this? WVVisit.org. Okay, WVVisit.org. It's at the bottom of your screen right now, and I want to know why if you go to that website, there's no link to Uplink, no mention of us at all. Are you certain? I am. A hunt Kyle, are we certain? I don't know. Kyle's well, half asleep. Uh, that's inexcusable. <laughs> no. We'll remedy that right away. Inexcusable is his term, and he's going to take care of that. So by the time this airs, there's going to be a link to us, That's big right. time. That's well, right. just us, I guess. No, I'm just goofing off. Tyson, yeah. thank you for coming by. What's been going on? I met you a few days ago at, at the Marshall game. We talked for a long time. Very exciting guy. What does the city of Huntington have to offer right now? What's going on? Well, in addition, I mean, besides uh, up late, uh, <laughs> there, there, there is a lot of, Huntington has a lot going on right now. And uh, you mentioned the Jamie Oliver mm -hmm. show, which was really very exciting for us. Um, I mean, to have a national television production in our community and have our community exposed to the nation and now internationally, I mean, that's incredible. And uh, recently, of course, won an Emmy for Best Reality TV Show. So I love to tell my friends and, and uh, people that I meet out when I'm selling the city that this is the city that won an Emmy. Yeah, and, and again, it's not just, yeah, absolutely, they love it. Jamie Oliver, thumbs up, he said. That's right. Uh, and it's not just Huntington, too. Like I mentioned in, in the lead in there, Barbara's 20,000 people for the past two years at that soccer yes, tournament. Yes, incredible. Uh, biggest event that we've ever pulled off. And, of course, there are other people who are putting that event together, the, the local soccer mm -hmm. committee. And the CVB just steps in and offers assistance in promoting and volunteers and that kind of thing. But that's just an incredible event when you have that many people coming to your community because it's all about economic development for us. They're out there spending money, staying in the hotels, going out to eat, that kind of thing. So you just said, what is the CVB? Explain that and what you all really do. Sure. Um, it's the Convention and Visitors Bureau. Not like um, when I first took this job, my little nephew, who's a fan of all these old TV shows on the computer, heard that I was working for the Convention and Visitors Bureau, and he said, is Uncle Tyson a spy? <laughs> so he's a little get smart fan there. But um, Convention and Visitors Bureau is about tourism, and it's about economic development, bringing people to the community to spend money. Well, that's cool. And you all, where are you? You're down there next to the Civic Center, kind of, right? Yes. Uh, it's Heritage Station. Mm -hmm. It used to be Heritage Village, but we kind of rebranded it. Um, in fact, we're housed in the old uh, depot building, okay. which was built in the late 1800s. That's Great place cool. for people to come in and, you know, actually start their visit to the city. So y you have all these people here, and you say you're with the Tourism Bureau. But people think tour tourism is when you go to different places like Florida or, or like California or a beach or something like that. Like That's Montana. Not case. Like Montana, <laughs> Patrick Webb. So we'll talk about that later. Mm. Explain that. I mean, the tourism is... Yeah, tourism really is, is changing. And, and, of course, that is tourism. But uh, really for us, tourism is anybody who travels and comes into the community for any reason. So if they're, you know, maybe they're just coming across from Ashland, you know, and they're, they're, they're having lunch here. Well, that's tourism for us because that money is making an economic impact in the community. So when you talk about groups coming to town, having their meetings here, staying all night in the hotels, staying for an extended period of time, they're spending a lot of money. Those 20,000 people that you mentioned, mm -hmm. the soccer committee, they spent for five days over $12 million in the community. I mean, that's a lot of money. That's a lot of money. How much of that did I see? <laughs> Nothing. And yet, Nothing. all I got was a measly 200,000 there. <laughs> you got a measly 200,000. I mean, well, you're talking about the groups of people. I mean, there's one big group that comes every year, and that's Marshall students. Yes. That's a big draw, too, isn't it? Very much. And we feel like there's maybe been a little bit of a disconnect between our office and the university before. But really, we'd like to be there, especially for freshmen students, incoming students, uh, but for their families as well, so that we can let them know what they can expect to see and do while they're here, where they can go eat. You know, when the parents come and take them out to dinner, where's the best place that they can get the, you know, maybe a better meal than... Than there. The McDonald's, yeah. is that what you're, is yeah. that what you're saying? You just don't want to say it out loud. <laughs> well, Tyson, thank you for coming on the show. We really appreciate well, it very you, much. You. Um, yeah. So it's time to go. Yeah, well, we do six minutes. And oh, minutes. oh, but I, I had pie charts. I was, I was going to show uh, some numbers. And Are we doing pie charts on this episode? No, no. No, no, no. no, no. no, no. Oh. Oh. They want pie charts. Stop it. Stop it. No, no, no. No, says Kyle. 
Well, it just seemed to go by so quickly. I well, thought it's television. I mean, television goes pretty quickly. Oh, uh, well, it didn't seem to go so quickly with Jessica Ralston. I mean, she was on for what I, seemed like 10 minutes to me. Well, well, thanks for watching. So what you're saying way. is if I were blonde and pretty, I could get more time? Is that? <laughs> no, I what else? Is, he's got a bag of trees. Is he Gallagher now? Or no, Carrot Top pulling out. I, really? Oh, wow. Pie charts. Pie charts. <laughs> wow. <laughs> no. Really, this is geometry. <laughs> this is where the interview has gone, by the way. This is great. This? Pie charts. <laughs> Tyson Compton, everyone. Who knew this is where we're in the top? Stay with us after the break. Rosetta will play for us. We'll be right back. <laughs>